When you go away, I do have a peace that he's be, my husband is being well taken care of. He needs to have someone with him all the time to keep him safe, to get him to where he needs to go, to allow him to play, he needs help with playing. So the centre has been wonderful in accommodating Jack's needs. We're very, very lucky. I had a career, uh, I thought, for a lifetime, and I worked at it happily for over 30 years. And then I was told, you can't do that anymore, and I was scared. Irene David, Susan Stevenson, and Alicia Hardy have very different stories, very different needs. What they have in common is the help of Niagara Region Community Services. Its focus is on working with community partners to help some of Niagara's most vulnerable, from our youngest residents to the oldest, people helping people. About three quarters of the cost of its programs and services are funded by the province of Ontario and the rest by client fees and regional taxes. Mm. Ah. One, oh. two, yeah. three! Yay! Alicia Hardy's two-year-old son Jack attends the St. Catharines Regional Child Care Centre, one of five child care centres operated by Children's Services. Jack uh, obviously has a couple of more challenges than a lot of the other kids here and the centre has been fantastic in, in making him the best kid that he can be and um, partaking in his physiotherapy and his speech therapy, being involved, asking questions and just really truly deeply loving him for all that he is. Jack was born with cerebral palsy and needs continuous care and supports. With both of Jack's parents working, securing that support and a space at the centre mean a lot to the Hardys. When I think of the Regional Child Care Centre, I think of a loving and supportive, safe environment for Jack. His overall emotional development, he's learning how to play well with other children. So I think the, the centre has been vital in all of his in all of his development. Children's services provide parents like Alicia with access to resources for children with unique needs and challenges, including registered early childhood educators and teachers with specialized training. The goal is to give each child the best start possible by providing resources and an environment that promotes healthy development. Children's Services oversees all licensed childcare in the region, including both childcare centers and home-based childcare programs, working with providers to ensure quality care in line with provincial childcare standards. Um, this is Louis at the cottage. In Pelham, Irene David is a caregiver in a different kind of place. Her husband Louis is a resident of the Woodlands of Sunset, one of eight long-term care homes run by senior services. Louis has lived here since 2006 when the effects of a stroke left him unable to be cared for at home. Irene feels he's in a good home and appreciates the challenging work involved in caring for him and others with similar needs. These people, a lot of them, like next to my husband, he was a vet. He fought for this country. Every person here in this home has a story of how they helped to build this country like it is. And I feel that they should be provided with better funding and taken care of. The eight homes are spread across the region and provide a place to live for about 1,500 people each year. Residents who have access to services to meet a wide range of physical, mental and social needs. Each home is a vital community of support and the wait list can be long. I do tell them this is the best home on this side of heaven. 
Yeah, I'd say that was the best sight of heaven. That's a beautiful home. I love it very much. And I told my daughter-in-law, this is where I want to be when I get old. So this is my home. <laughs> Senior Services also plays an important role in helping seniors remain independent and in their own homes for as long as possible. Seniors Community Programs offers a range of programs and services that engage aging seniors in activities that promote good health and quality of life. Susan Stevenson is working again, in charge of the food service operations at Start Me Up Niagara, a nonprofit agency in St. Catharines that supports low-income residents. An injury had forced Susan to quit the job she loved as a chef, and it was difficult finding new employment. With no income and all other means exhausted, Susan entered the Ontario Works program, becoming one of about 22,000 people in Niagara men, women, and children who rely on social assistance to make ends meet. It was there that Susan met a staff member who helps Ontario Works participants find a place to volunteer where they can contribute their skills, learn new ones, and improve their chances of finding a stable job. Because I was anxious, I was a lot of things, and she was able to cut through that by being understanding. And she took her time with me, she met with me, she spoke with me over the phone, and she knew what my skills were, and even though she understood my physical situation, she knew that in a volunteer capacity that I would probably be happy here at Start Me Up Niagara volunteering, so she asked me to come. As a volunteer and with plenty of food services experience to draw on, Susan made herself invaluable to Start Me Up Niagara. And when she told the agency she needed to look for a position that paid, they responded. Before the year was out, I had a few job interviews. They missed me. Tony's like, oh, don't go. You can't go. You can't get a job somewhere else. You got to stay and help us. And I'm like, I need money. So if you need me, you're going to have to hire me. And I, jokingly, I said that, uh, but it was within a couple of months that uh, Susan Vendetti, the executive director of Start Me Up Niagara, uh, presented a, a, a job position here for me, and uh, I, I said yes. <laughs> Each year, Social Assistance and Employment Opportunities, or SAEO, helps hundreds of people like Susan leave the Ontario Works Program and rejoin the workforce. The division also plays an important role in addressing homelessness in Niagara and the root causes of poverty. It supports nearly 30 community agencies who help people who are homeless or at risk of becoming homeless. Their services include emergency shelters, outreach programs, and supports to help people find and keep a suitable and affordable place to live. And SAEO oversees the award-winning Niagara Prosperity Initiative, a partnership focused on helping Niagara's poorest neighborhoods through projects aimed at improving both the lives of individuals and the communities where they live. For more information on the programs and services of Niagara Region Community Services, visit niagararegion.ca.